Hello and welcome to State of the Economy. Today we have with us uh, Chairman of TRAI, Mr. Rahul Khullar, uh, with whom we'll discuss uh, the broadcasting sector. It is the other hat that he wears uh, besides telecom. Uh, a lot of uh, very critical issues uh, around the broadcasting industry. Uh, they have come to the fore, uh, media monopoly being one of them, uh, and many others. Uh, so uh, we discuss these uh, with Mr. Kullar today. W welcome to our show, uh, Mr. Kullar. Uh, now, could you just tell us two, three uh, big issues that, that you are looking at in the context of uh, the broadcast uh, broadcasting sector? Uh, beginning with media monopoly, of course. Now, what are your uh, recommendations there? Um, there are a number of issues from the broadcasting sector which have been referred to us by the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. Uh, some of these are old and they have been revived and some are relatively new. Uh, first, uh, TRI had made a, rec a set of recommendations on cross-media ownership. Uh, three to four years ago and uh, that has been referred back to us okay. for a fresh set of recommendations. We have just concluded a long elaborate consultation process including with the players with all the stakeholders and your first recommendation if I'm not mistaken was that there should be restricted cross media ownership should not be that's allowed, correct. right? That's correct. That, okay. that was originally what the tri had recommended. Yeah. Uh, what has been referred back to us now asks us to essentially work that out in much greater detail. So that process of consultation has been completed and that issue will arise. Mm -hmm. Essentially the issue is should you not have diversity and pluralism? That is you don't want a situation where the television, radio, and newspaper media are all owned by one person. Okay, a person who controls the newspaper uh, should not necessarily also controls television, also controls radio. Then, okay. then where is your diversity? Okay. The second issue, which is embedded there, is corporate control over, t say, TV channels. Yeah, sure. And the conflict of interest argument, meaning, if a corporate controls a TV channel, how do you know that the TV channel is beaming you news? Yeah. and not a particular corporate point of view. Point of view. It's increasingly happening. As, as, as everybody knows. So there are a number of very interesting issues that have come up and we're working on that. Hopefully we will get recommendations out uh, in about uh, eight weeks. Mm -hmm. A second uh, what issue. What can you do with, uh, in regard to say corporate ownership? Uh, globally, uh, companies do own uh, media com uh, outfits. But is there some sort of buffer that can be created? Uh, I, I think that's the sort of thing you're looking at now. We're looking at other countries' experience. I mean, let me put it to you this way. Uh, think of the RBI's problem in giving corporates bank licenses. It's the same problem. Same problem, yeah. Right. It's exactly the same conflict of interest problem. Yeah. And they have to, they have devised a way around that. Yeah, they have. Yeah. You know? So we have to do something similar, or think about it at least. And that process is underway. I don't want to prejudge yeah. what the authorities... One of the things RBI does is diversity of shareholding. Diversity of shareholding or create a yeah. structure like a holding bank, okay. which yeah. is distanced from the corporate, and therefore you create an intermediary which is distanced from both okay. the bank as well as the... You create a buffer. Your, you create, essentially, what you're saying is creating a buffer. Yeah. So I think that will... I mean, let the authority come to its conclusion, it's not finished its work. The second issue which is very hot right now is this whole business of uh, Also, before you, go, before you go to the second issue, I would assume that on cross-media ownership, uh, your views would be the same as, as you had made uh, earlier, more or less the same, direction is the same? I think... Uh, which is not allowing cross-media ownership? We, we, we'd be looking both at horizontal and vertical uh, parts of it. And uh, I think we need, I mean, a little more work has been done okay. since the last time we made recommendations. So I think that as of today, we have a much better grip uh, in being able to spell out in some greater detail mm -hmm. that if restrictions were to be imposed, how would they be imposed, which was 
not so clear in our earlier recommendation. In the earlier recommendation. So it's, it's so more precise. It would be far more precise. I think it would leave much less room for maneuver, let yeah. me say. You know, here I want to raise one issue. You know, a lot of these uh, media companies have invoked uh, the, f the freedom of speech article under the constitution to say that they have a right to have cross media ownership uh, as a means to to, to express themselves, uh, you know, as a means of free speech. Yeah, the, problem. the point is, a, a lot of uh, people don't agree with that because uh, it eventually leads to actually selling I, of space. I, I, I certainly don't agree with that. I can tell you why. In virtually every country which we have cited in a consultation paper, be it the US or the UK or Australia or what have you, these are all democracies. Absolutely. All of them have restrictions. Very robust democracies. There. And nobody is screaming about uh, Constitution freedom, guarantee. Uh, uh, freedom of the press yeah. and this and that. So, yeah, sure. or freedom of speech. Yeah. So, I don't think restrictions on the freedom of speech are where this is about. I think invariably what happens is that whenever you come to touch uh, an issue like this, which is difficult, thorny, and which can affect. Uh, corporate interests adversely, bogies will always be raised. Absolutely. And this is one more bogey. So I, meaning I think I am one of Which the strongest. Which you have decided to set aside. That, I, we are one of the strongest as an authority, the proponents of the freedom of speech. But equally, I don't think you should use the freedom of speech as a fig leaf to hide behind. Yeah, sure. Meaning, let's let's move on and, and have to, a using constructive it as a, debate. As a fig leaf not to give diversity of uh, views or not to enable diversity of views. And in fact, why, meaning, just the day before yesterday, the vice president of the country went to UP he, he, Aligarh, yeah. and, and Hathras and said exactly what I am saying to you, that exactly. is, you need plurality, you need diversity. You need plurality. And in fact, he is reported to have said that uh, media needs to to mend that this, this situation cannot be allowed to yeah, carry media on. Media needs to self introspect also. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So I think the the issues are difficult. I understand that. Mm -hmm. Equally, they are complicated. But I think in large the larger interest of India and of democracy, I think we cannot allow this situation to just go on as is. So um, you want to arrest the drift. So therefore, you you coming up with we will come up with recommendations with recommendation. greater clarity, much greater clarity. Yeah. But the broad direction will be the same, right? Uh, I I would suspect so, at this point of time. The second set of issues which we've come to us pertain to television and broadcasting. One is this whole business of how television audiences are measured, which yeah. has been in the news. What is called the TRP scandal. The, <laughs> television ratings. Actually, this was referred to us by INB last year because we had sent recommendations earlier to set up something called BARC, B-A-R-C. But for one reason or the other, industry didn't set it up. So the ministry asked us, look, give us a set of recommendations, lay down some eligibility conditions for independent rating agencies. Uh, try and envisage how regulation would come about irrespective of whether the government does it or you the regulator have to do it or whether it has to be self-regulation. So that's all in the works? That is in okay. the works. A consultation paper is out. Okay. We've got reactions to that. We're working on okay. it. Can I take a small break here? Uh, uh, please don't go away and uh, keep watching RST. Welcome back to State of the Economy. We are having a very interesting conversation with the TRI Chairman Mr. Rahul Khuller on some very critical uh, policy issues relating to the broadcasting sector. Uh, Mr. Kula, you were speaking about uh, uh, the, the TRP, that rating uh, mess uh, that we are in today, where every television uh, news uh, broadcasting uh, company has disowned the, the current system of uh, uh, rating run by TAM, what is called TAM. Now, uh, recently we we heard the news that they were all walking out of TAM. And they've taken this, this drastic step of going without rating for the next six, seven months, hoping that, that a more independent uh, rating organization comes into place by next year, March. Now, where are we in this? Uh, 
Well, uh, actually, the BARC, which I was talking about, was supposed to be a joint endeavor of the broadcasters, the advertisers, and the advertising agency. Now, there are certain intrinsic conflicts of interest amongst these groups which stymied the creation of BARC and hence stymied the creation of a rating, independent rating. All this while, yeah. All this for the last three years. Because the ones who were getting better TRPs were opposed to it. They're not interested in yeah. getting the change. So now, now everybody, now there's now, a consensus. I think there is consensus about, the real problem is this, you know. Number one, the coverage is too narrow. Exactly. So you're not getting a representative feel for what India wants on television. How many television sets we have? I think it's about eight. Oh, we have, we have uh, in terms of cable, we have 135 million. I mean, okay. television households okay. Okay. are in excess of 135 million. And there are just 3,000 meters, right? 8,000. 8,000. 8,000 meters for, to, to check viewership in 135 million households. So that, that's the problem. So you, you're trying to increase the re representation. And 135 of just captures the cable and the uh, DTH. DTH okay. If you're just using a television, say for terrestrial okay. uh, television, okay. which means you're just catching the DD signal. That's DD, it. Yeah, it. Terrestrial, yeah. That's, that's, that's a separate line. That's that, a separate that be, number. There will be more. There will be more. I can't tell you those numbers. We don't have those. But Essentially, even if, if you were to look at 135 million households, uh, the number of I mean, coverage is a real issue. Second is the independence of the rating agency, an issue which you raised. Sure, there's a conflict of interest there also. There's a conflict of interest. I mean, if the advertiser is going to be the rater, yeah. the, there's an interest in conflict of interest. Yeah. And I think what we are trying to now work out is and we will come out with this soon enough, that look, what should be the minimum eligibility conditions mm -hmm. a rating agency should meet mm -hmm. so that it can inspires confidence in the public as well as in those being rated sure. that this is independent, independent. number one. Mm -hmm. Then the next step is to figure out that whether you want a model of self-regulation or government regulation or tri-regulation, whichever one you want to choose. That is to be decided. That is subsequently. Let government take a decision on that. I don't want to go there. Okay. But somebody has to accredit mm -hmm. such independent rating agencies mm -hmm. so that the accreditor is satisfied and is answerable to the public that yes, I independently find this person meeting the criteria and he then performs the rating. So I think all this is in the works, and I think within the next two, three you, weeks. You're hopeful we'll, that we are moving towards. Uh, I a, think we are moving system towards system which is acceptable correct. to all the players. That's right, as well as the consumers. The, I think the bottom line is exactly to go back to what you said earlier. Whether BARC is established mm -hmm. and wishes to work on its own on a self-regulation principle, or whether it runs out of steam and doesn't get established. Either way, government must be able to lay down that these will be the rules of the game for a rating agency and this will be the coverage you would expect, irrespective of whether you do it or I do it. So that whether the government appoints the rater or whether the industry appoints the rater, you have to meet those. But I, that, that's the way to go. But you would prefer a model where the industry does it on its own. In a sense. I think I've they don't, they don't I have involve the I regulator. Have said it, uh, and in many the public exercising. platforms, please don't involve the regulator. Don't get us involved in this. We would much rather have industry do self-regulation. Self but the problem is that over the last three to four years, uh, this has just not taken off. Because they, they are constantly fighting amongst each other. They're constantly at war with each other. Now, why, why do you uh, think is this happening? Why can't media companies just come together and, uh, I, and, and find take one rational solution as acceptable. You know? I think uh, the, the, the way I, I would like to see it is What is your experience? You keep interacting own, with them. My in, I interact with them. My, my own sense is that their own petty conflicts have stymied the progress so far. But I think the possibility that 
uh, government regulation or regulator driven regulation might take over mm -hmm. will suddenly coalesce minds very quickly. Yes. So I am I'm, I'm confident that um, even as our recommendations are still in the pipeline, mm -hmm. I think by the time these get issued, uh, it will force people to come together more quickly than they have in the past. Do you sometimes find, uh, Mr. Kulu, that the media uh, companies, they editorially advocate a certain set of rules for the other industries, but when it comes to themselves, they want a different set of rules. Like on uh, licensing of radio, they they argue that, uh, that, 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 that industry is nascent, so there should be no license fee. But editorially, when they talk about the telecom sector, they, they, they argue that telecom sector should pay uh, license fee as per market uh, dictates. I, you're sort of putting words in my mouth, but I think it's a particularly Indian disease. Uh, we like to say, start. we're an exception, start with the rest of the world, don't start with us. Fix the, fix the so others. Fix the others first, then come to us. So I think uh, that's a very Indian problem. So I don't want to blame just the media for yeah, it, but it, yes. Yeah, other industries also uh, yeah, behave in the same way. They, they all behave the same. So. Uh, Although media would, would be expected to be a little more enlightened than the other industries. <laughs> Especially when they keep hectoring us. So, yeah, sure. um, but I think uh, by and large, they get it, uh, meaning they've got the message. Got the Two other issues which are pending with us, one is the FM radio license, since you mentioned yes. it, the pricing, that is that work is started up. The other is something which uh, I think I should mention, and this is the whole business. Mr. Fuller, can we just take a small break here because uh, I've been. Certainly. I've been uh, please don't go away and uh, keep watching uh, Raj Sabha TV. <laughs> Welcome back to State of the Economy. We are having a conversation with TRI Chairman Mr. Rahul Kuller on some critical issues uh, relating to broadcasting policy. Uh, you were telling us something about yeah, the, the third, the, yeah, the, the, third uh, the third issue that uh, one of the hot issues is this whole business of monopoly or vertical integration in the television segment. What this refers to are two sets, separate sets of problems. The first is straightforward. In some states, you're having situations where the multi-system operators yeah. are either gobbling up other multi-system operators, or a single multi-system operator is cornering a very large segment of the market. So you're getting dominant market positions with all the sorts of problems attendant. And then MSOs thereto. beam the broadcasting and signals to cable homes. That's correct. Yeah. Now, this, this, so this is one class of problems. Yeah. A second problem is vertical integration between broadcasters and MSOs, which is what you do not want in a situation where the broadcaster and the MSO, mm -hmm. the, the line between them becomes blurred. Blurred. So you have the then same person doing both. If, the, if they integrate, then the consumer is at the receiving end of a virtual monopoly. So these are issues which are very hot and very thorny, mm -hmm. and we need to start thinking about them. We have just issued a paper. Yeah. I believe you mentioned also in your paper you mentioned that that in many states, political parties which are ruling, they actually are running these monopolies. So it, it is most dangerous uh, for the media. Uh, let me uh, mention two things. One is that in Punjab and Tamil Nadu. Uh, Punjab, Tamil Nadu, and some other states yeah. in uh, uh, in the south. You have dominant market positions occupied by a single operator. And those operators are not necessarily apolitical. Yeah, Let sure. me just say that at this point of time. Uh, a second problem is a completely separate class of problem. The, whether a political party should own or the incumbent government mm -hmm. should own or get into this business of cable. And there we have made categorical recommendations, absolute no. No. Meaning the authority has consistently maintained that it would be very a very pernicious practice yeah. for state governments, irrespective of their color, persuasion, or political affiliation, sure. to get into either the broadcasting television channel business or the distribution business, which is the multi system. But there is an example of one state. Uh, where a political party, ruling party, did run uh, That's correct. the outfit for a while, right? That's correct. In, in Tamil Nadu, which was then closed down. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and, I, now, and now the now the new dispensation wants to revive that, right? Yeah, I think that's still, 
a problem because the the television channel, MSO in in question has not yet received an MSO license. Yeah. So that is still up for debate. But I think the issue, the broader issue, without reference to the state in question, Absolutely. is that do we want a situation where uh, a political party, which is currently the incumbent government, yeah. uses the waves mm -hmm. or the media mm -hmm. as a means of broadcasting its political message. That's a bigger its issue. political yeah. color. Whether it's and states I think that or whether it's center. That's either. I think it applies to both. And both. we were categorical that whether it's the central government or the state government, you should not allow it. The only exception is the public broadcasting service, Pras Prasar Bharti. And there too, our recommendations were very clear. Please distance the government as far as possible from Prasar Bharti. From Prasar Bharti. And this is in compliance. Please remember, all this is in compliance of a Supreme Court judgment, okay. meaning even the creation of Prasar Bharti and the insulation in this way was aimed dates, at to, separating the dates to a Supreme Court ruling that the, the, the waves, the air, are not something that should become the monopoly of any government. It should be a public resource That's correct. and used in public interest. That's right. That's right. And I, I presume some of your views, recommendations on, uh, on these issues have been taken on board by the INB ministry and because I'm told that INB ministry is getting requests from politicians from different states and they are telling them that this is a TRI recommendation, therefore we cannot give you a license to, to run a TV that, channel. That's, that's what I read in the papers. I mean, the, the difficulty with recommendations is that we can make the recommendation but we don't take the final decision. That's left to the ministry and we have to infer how the ministry has reacted, because the ministry never tells us mm -hmm. what decision they have finally taken. Yeah. But we infer it from decisions and things that appear in the media. Okay. So I think the current uh, sense I have is that uh, they have understood the gravity of the problem that we are pointing to. And they, mean the they have understood the spirit in yeah. which the recommendations have made. Uh, I think they would be far more careful mm -hmm. going forward yeah. so uh, than, than, than they have been. Uh, in a sense, you, uh, you actually bailed the INB ministry out because they, they can now tell, uh, they get, must be getting requests as we going into general elections from different states, wanting uh, political parties, uh, ruling dispensations, wanting license to run their own TV outfit. They must be telling them that this is a TRI recommendation, we can't allow this. So I'll, well, is, I is, can't, that, is that what is happening? I, I, can't, I don't think I'd like to answer that in the way you've put it. I think we made a set of recommendations as an authority dispassionately and in what we regard as public interest. How those recommendations are used, uh, I think we leave that to the government. So the government has not formally uh, conveyed to us, no. Accepted that uh, and conveyed it to the Authority, to no. The no. Players or the authority? I don't think so. Yeah. But I think. The but it's equally true that verbally they are telling. That's uh, correct. State government verbally they are coming with, requ with requests to. So uh, that's to, right. That's right. To that start is a TV fair. channel to get a license. To be fair, they're they telling are, them that you can't do it. That's right. To be fair, they are saying that. That is, if you want to get into the TV distribution or this thing business, sorry, there's a problem. TRI uh, recommendations are not. Uh, Thank you, Mr. Kuller, for talking to us. Uh, uh, that's all we have in this uh, edition of State of the Economy. Uh, uh, we'll be back uh, next week. Uh, thanks for watching.